Hey, what's up everyone? Feliz Navidad and Merry Christmas. Today is going to be a different type of video. I didn't think I was going to be making something like this, but this caught my eye while I was wandering around the internet uh, today. So let's go ahead and jump right into it, shall we? The topic of today's video is corporate plagiarism. Right here we have an example of that. We have Nordstrom X Nike uses Young Entrepreneur's logo. And this is the logo originally from the NTAA, a global brand corporation, versus Nordstrom X Nike. Uh, they've made the allegation that Nike has stolen their, their logo. So this is what they're, uh, what they've published so far from uh, uh, enews20.com. So let's go ahead and take a little read from that, shall we? Nordstrom X Nike brand has come into the news for its controversial brand logo. It's been observed that the NTAA, a global brand corporation, has accused Nordstrom X Nike for copying its logo. According to NTAA, they have been operating since 2015 and they first registered their logo under the trademark offices in the USPTO in the USA and CIPO in Canada. So. The NTA has accused Nordstrom Nike of trademark infringement by using a similar brand logo. It has been first brought to the company's attention via public through comments. Consumers identified similarities within the two logos, thus causing confusion. However, the fashion brand Nordstrom Nike with a similar logo to that of NTA has been affecting the popularity of NTAA on the market, and Nordstrom Nike released in 2016 has not registered its trademark with the trademark authorities in the USA or Canada. Popular on Instagram is Nordstrom Nike, Nordstrom Rack, and Nordstrom. The band Nordstrom Nike is receiving criticism for stealing the logo idea from NTAA logo from the NTAA logo, excuse me. On the official Instagram page of hashtag NTAA Wave, the fashion brand shares a lot of updates related to its fashion products and other accessories to share their products with their followers. And it gives us all the pertinent information, ntaawave.com. There's the link right there. All of these links will be in the description of the video, by the way. That way, all of you have a good chance to go check out all their stuff and check out their message and all, everything that they're saying. Because so far, this this is a, a, a fairly convincing uh, a plagiarism. Uh, a, a, plagiar a plagiarism accusation, I think, because all they do is just extend the lines a little bit more and fill it out through the squares, like boom, 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 boom. This one, it has the square right here, but the lines are uh, drawn differently. And this is sort of drawn, it, this is all, the, the lines are all so thicker and everything seems to be going almost exactly, like they just changed it up slightly. Uh, and I, I think that's really messed up, personally. I think that, that really just speaks to the uh, lackadaisical uh, uh, attitude and demeanor of the, uh, the graphic design department. And uh, quite frankly, this is the kind of quality that we can come to expect from Nordstrom Nike. I can see why the people would probably want to avoid that like the plague, quite frankly, because, you know, you're going to pay... 80 to 100 bucks for 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 this this is this is garbage they can do way better personally i think the worst thing about this whole uh thing with nike and their copyright possible copyright infringement or uh uh plagiarism is that this wasn't even the first time earlier this year uh kawaii leonard uh, uh, uh an nba basketball player uh, he filed a lawsuit uh, alleging that uh, Nike stole his design for uh, this. This is the claw. And apparently Nike has done a little uh, swoosh uh, thing where this should be or whatever the hell it's supposed to be called. And they're alleging that this uh, is copyright infringement also. Let's go ahead and read this article that I got from Bloomberg Law. Uh, all of these uh, all of these articles will be in the will be linked in the description so you can go check them out yourself. But let me just go ahead and read the first couple of paragraphs. NBA star Kawhi Leonard's lawsuit asking a court to invalidate Nike Incorporate's copyright on a logo that he said created highlights interlocking legal questions that can arise in such intellectual property right, uh, fights. Which basically means he, he what that means is that he says he has this first and he's 
file the right copyright claims in the right countries or states or whatever have you but uh, apparently he's he's saying that or apparently he's saying that Nike uh, took his logo and now it's being associated with Nike rather than his brand so let's go ahead and continue uh, Leonard a Toronto Raptors forward claims Nike stole a trademark logo trademark logo that he designed around his hand initials and jersey number and fraudulently registered it with the US Copyright Office he asked the US District Court for the District of Southern California to rule he owns the claw logo and that Nike defrauded the agency the case will hinge on the language in Leonard's expired contract with Nike attorney Jeffrey Jacobson of the Jacobson firm PC who represents professional athletes on intellectual property issues said Companies typically retain the ownership of intellectual property when athletes collaborate with companies on logos, he said, but circumstances may vary, or can vary, excuse me. And while the trademarks require use in commerce to maintain, copyright grants to creator rights for several decades. So it seems that maybe Nike might have jumped the shark a little bit when they decided to use this dude's logo. Now that was just Nike, just two examples from just this year alone. However, I think the example that everyone's going to know, the one that's really fresh in everyone's mind, because it was just earlier this month that this happened, was the Sony PS4 plagiarism accusations and the disaster that surrounded that. Let's go ahead and read this article. This is from gamesindustry.biz, but really, I don't know how credible the site is, but it's just your your average article and honestly it conforms with pretty much every other uh, mainstream quote-unquote gaming journalist site so really it's kind of all the same so let's just read on Sony has pulled a PS4 lineup promotional video from its channels following accusations that the videos animation plagiarized multiple other properties and creators this is completely true I have a video that shows the comparison side by side it's actually mind-blowing it's actually kind of crazy that these people honestly thought that they would get away with all of this. It really is the, the arrogance of some of these people. But anyway, though the video has since been taken down, a backup not uploaded by Sony can still be viewed on YouTube. Additionally, animation website Katsuka has tweeted a side-by-side -side comparison of the original video and the animations it appears to copy. And that would be this. Uh, that would be this right here. We'll go ahead and get to that in just a second. Let's go ahead and just finish up and figure out the, who, who's the, the name of the dude who did this. The video was released by Sony Interactive Entertainment Japan Asia to showcase its winter lineup of games. And according to Japanese website Akiba Soukin, Soukin, uh, Akiba Sukin, I'm so sorry for Asian people and Japanese people that I'm totally just butchering your names and language. I don't, I'm not really that big into Japanese culture, but you know, I, I try. So just, just uh, g give me that, okay? Anyway, uh, the video was released by Sony Interactive Entertainment Japan Asia to showcase its winter lineup of games and, according to Japanese website Akiba Sukin, is the work of animation director Kevin Bao. The production company behind the video, Ialan Animation, issued the following statement on Twitter this evening, cutting ties with Bao. We had no knowledge that the work produced by Kevin Bao was plagiarized. We have ceased with immediate effect any representation of Kevin Bao's work and have contacted Kevin for a response. GamesIndustry.biz has reached out for Sony to uh, reached out to Sony for comment. So far, I'm assuming that there was nothing. And then you have the comments down here. It's not just copying animation styles. If you do a frame by frame comparison, they are direct frame by frame traces of the source material. Even the most tenuous of uncredited homages excuses is off the table here. And this is absolutely true. And we might as well just go ahead and just watch the video right here, right now. Because it is pretty bad how absolutely blatant this, uh, uh, this, co this infringement really really is it, it, it's it, it borders on it, it, it mean-spirited I, I would think anyway let's go ahead and shrink me down to size down here so you guys can watch uh, with better clarity in fact let me go ahead and just nuke me completely and this starts right now with Steven Universe so let's go ahead and check it out 
I mean, my God, like the the that the the part right there where the character swings on this part right here, and this is just the world. It, this is really the meme of, hey, I don't mind you. Co uh, can I copy off your homework? It's like that's cool, bro. Just change it up a little bit so it doesn't look uh, completely like mine. This is exactly uh, 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 that in spades, and it's really just absolutely disgusting that this is allowed to happen Let, let's go ahead and watch it a little bit this is from flcl that wasn't very that was kind of uh really quick so let's go ahead and just watch that one more time check this out uh, completely 100 percent, just like fooly cooly that's that uh, that's absolutely insane then there's this right here almost exactly my god and this goes oh, this goes on and on and on this is another goblins uh, uh reference right here the drip <laughs> yeah once again this is this is exact copying right there my god they they really did disrespect the source material something fierce when they plagiarized this I can't believe that this this went this got so far down the rabbit hole at Sony that no one honestly at the company noticed this at all since it's in it's in Japan and so you figure that anime and animation would be in their wheelhouse you know I'm sure that there's plenty of cubicles that are just decorated with anime and manga figurines and manga books and stuff like that right but anyway uh, this is this is a, a a real problem that's facing the industry right here and now and it doesn't look like it's going to go away i don't know what's going to come of this case right here the nordstrom nike versus the ntaa but i really do hope that the ntaa pulls forward out of this because this is a very blatant uh uh theft of concept of a logo right here like i explained it earlier i explained it earlier all he did was just elongate some of the lines here and just box it off completely very generic very corporate artsy fartsy and it's, it's really just a a terrible misuse of company time and funds and energy the the fact that no one at that company sort of caught this either and they thought that they would honestly get away with it uh blows my mind anyway so that's it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and a subscription and all that. I'll go ahead and link everything in the description so you can go check out NTAA and their work and all that stuff. So until then, thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. You take care, everybody. Ta-ta.